here in this second period. The Oilers trail four to three. Coming late, it's Sear, but the Oilers have it, and Seth Bernard Docker settles the puck down, and he'll have some room to break out. Gets around one Crusader and almost runs into his own teammate, but he gets in. Nice move by Bernard Docker. Has some help going in. That was Morrison coming late. Dick scores! The Oilers have come back. It's 4 4. It's Seth Bernard Docker. Early on in this hockey game, it's what they need as they've got the stretch of five games in 10 days. They're looking for more. Here's Bernard Docker trying to stuff it in. He scores! There's his first ever Alberta Junior Hockey League goal. Pick up that puck. Quinn Olson will do it. And the Oilers lead by a count of two to nothing. Great individual effort by Seth Bernard Docker. Had a couple chances to win it last night. And he's Cooper Johnson on the four check. Parker. He's it up ahead to Seth Bernard Docker coming back. He'll bring it to center. Down to Camrose territory. A pass across. Wells puts on the rakes. Watched by Shalafu. 33 seconds to go in the Oilers power play. Behind the net for Ergang. Caleb Ergang out from the wall. Now back to Bernard Docker. His shot. That hit a maze of players in front. And now to Ergang. Far side boards. Back to Eric Parker. He shoots. That's blocked. Stop. They score. Bow Wild is on. He's after the glove side of Kaleo. It's won by the Oilers. Here's a shot. Scores! That's Bernard Docker. His second of the game as Kaleo tried to steer that off the stick. And it bounces behind the Grand Prairie net. And Seth Bernard Docker in his first ever multi-goal game in his Alberta Junior Hockey League career. Out to the glove side of Larson and a clean win by the Oilers once again. Hagen will drop. Here's a shot, scores! And Bernard Docker taking a shot from the point and finds a way through. Hit from behind by Austin Wan, who has been taking liberties all series. Schwengler gets it for slashing. There's Gordon with the back. He'll play it up ahead for Ergang. Ergang brings it into Camrose's territory. Goes in around behind the net. Now plays it back to the left point. Grabbed there by Ryan Grant. He'll play it across to Seth Bernard Docker. Shot saved by Dumba. Rebound cleared away by Davis. Here's Johnson with it and can't get it out. Now Davis after it. Johnson trying to tie it up. Oilers come up with the back. Now Johnson down. Grant's down. Here's Ergang. Walks around. Shoots. Missed the net. Rebound comes to Bernard Docker. Right point. He'll play it across to Grant, back to Bernard Docker. Now quickly across here to Pasemko. Pasemko at the blue line. He walks in, in the corner for Gordon. Gordon now, back to the point. One-timer scores. Power play goal for the Oilers. And Davis fought that one off. Cody back to the point. Bernard Docker drags the line, tries to go back, lets it go now, ends up going in. Looks like it went off the glove of Soretsky and then by the glove of Davis and into the back of the Saints net. Bernard Docker is going to get credit. Our skate, sorry, of Bladen. Lucky break there for the Canucks. The Oilers just put it past the blue line. Pass back to Bernard Docker. He'll bring it in though. Gets it over. Quick shot there. Top shell scores. 5.49 to go in the second period. So it is Alex Young up against Austin Wong, and Ryan Grant will shoot into the Canmore zone. Here's a chance for the point shot, scores! Seth Bernard Docker! Well, that one hurts late. And you just see a shot from the point. You did think D Thomas Davis was not going to stop that one. Me. 
anchor to the neutral zone for Pang. Right wing pass is a good one for McNeil. Side of the net. Flores with a backhand try in tight. And that's off of the stick of Abel to the near corner. Oilers out to center, but that's cut out by Pang. Gives it right back to Flores. And then Pang got drilled. And Shoemaker's going to step up for him here against Seth Bernard Docker. And Bernard Docker with big right hands on Shoemaker. But again, a big size differential there. And Shoemaker, JD, we talked about the Grizzlies having to stand up here. Pang got drilled. I love that Joel Shoemaker gets in there. Either way, the Mustangs do have possession, and Seth Bernard Docker goes back and stretch path looks for Dick, trying to get through. Dick waiting for some help across. Here's Works wrap around, trying to tuck. He collects down low in his own end, halfway through OT. Pass ahead. It's Greg Japchen, the D-man, to carry in. Tangled up with Bernard Docker. Japchen fell. back. Here's Rask in the saw keeping, then taken away as Bernard Docker stretch pass up for Dick. It's a two-on-one with Roche Taguchi. Dick keeping, firing the shot. the third period. Japchen puts it to the end wall. Krieger there had it roll off his stick. And now Hernandez. Lost to Bernard Docker, will skate through center. Some space to carry in. Seth Bernard Docker got around Hernandez, but the poke check got it free, and that allows Charleston to get on top of it. And we'll see an ozone. First period, a quick start to this first period. As Afro mentioned, here's a shot from line. What then? It's a blocker save made by Kaleo. As Pasenko will chip that in. Kinder Chuck trying to go quick pass. That hit the side of the net, not for works on the tape, but that was Thorne will get away. Brody Dale up. Seth Bernard Docker. Eric Kalug gets around though. He'll get tripped up. It'll be no call. Here comes the Oilers again. Two on two. Works with Kinder Chuck. Trying to go across for him. Works holds. Protect on his backhand. Now to the forehand. Trying to cut out in front, but he's turned away in the storm. Try to clear. Not out. Here's a shot by Bernard Docker. Right on as Kaleo with the save will step out. The Oilers up big three to nothing. And got checked by Aiden Yakimchuk. And it's really hard to get through that blue line when you have big bodies like Yakimchuk and Joel Patsy and Jeremy Wall and Zonneveld, all these guys over 6'3 or, or above. There's a chance now in the slot. Rebound and a chance. What a save from Abel Kindertruck as he's now out of position. Abel is, but Zane Kindertruck had a great opportunity. And Davis is back to collect it. Now he'll get it to Kincaid. Gets by him again. Brought in by Seth Bernard Docker this time. Here's a pass in front. Shot over top of the net. Thank they. Of course, after Thanksgiving Monday. Long weekend this is. But then a full week of practice and then a uh, home date with the right now undefeated Brooks Bandits looking to win their 11th in a row tonight to start the season. Oh, that's onside somehow. Davis blocks it. Another shot saved this time by Bowerman. Now here's Seth Bernard Docker to Watson. That's off of the bench. Oh, goodness. Here's McAdam. He'll get it back to the point to Condor. Condor across to Davis. Davis walks in. Shot is blocked. Look out. Out of the box and grabbing the puck is Dylan James. James down the left wing side. Walks in. Shoots it towards the net. Chipped to the corner by Bowerman. Now James has it at the face-off circle. Comes in front. James still with it. Backhand shot saved by Bowerman. And he'll
divide between the Kodiak and Euler benches before the Kodiaks do clear it. Send the puck the length of the ice right to Ashton Abel, though. So Bernard Docker has room. He'll weave wide on right wing. Keeps. Now goes in behind the Camrose net. Drops off for Hagen. He'll hustle to the puck. Gets away from McAdam. Now it's Hagen tied up once more. Bor- Morvick's right beside him. But McAdam has it. Squirts the puck loose to the corner. As Dick now will hold on his backhand. Oh, Here's the Bobcats trying to move forward. But turn back as Seth Bernard Docker makes w- a couple of moves up the middle. Morvick waits. He drops. Seth Bernard ducks. And the Oilers now lead seven to nothing. And a big hit as... The Oilers have to regroup once again. They still have 15 seconds left in the power play because it's a five-minute penalty, and it doesn't narrow down. So the Oilers now potentially, just pending on numbers, I believe are four for six on the power play as the penalty's got three seconds left. First, that game will be at home, or it'll be at on the road against the Calgary Canucks. So a big break coming up for them. Here's Bernard Docker coming in. Nice move. Wrapped around. Doesn't get a shot away, so he just holds on. Now slides the puck down low for works. Now trying to jam it through and slide under Tisdale's pad. And again, the Oilers pressing. Works going to jam it on the wraparound. With 45 seconds gone in the power play, the Oilers buzzing again. Here's Bernard Docker. Walks the line. Waits for a lane. Now gives off to works. To the right circle. Cross ice. Back door. Noah Kemp scores! Brilliance by the Oiler power play. Yeah, to Derek Buds. He got hit hard by Bernard Docker.